Sheriff Gaylor says, um, well, he will kill again. He will kill again if we don't catch him, and he could end up becoming a serial killer. This is what Sheriff Gaylor added. I have no doubt in my mind if he's not apprehended, he will become a serial killer because he will do this again. This being the murder of Rachel Morin. You know, um, they released video on August 17th of the person they believe killed Rachel. And they know that because the DNA at Rachel's murder scene matches the DNA at a home invasion in Los Angeles. And this was the home invasion. This is him leaving. Take a good look. I can't show this enough. Take a good look at the way he walks, the gait, the shape of his jeans, the shape of his feet, the shape of his shoulders, the haircut that he had on August 17th. That's the guy. That's the killer right there. Still trying to find him, though. We don't know who he is. 5'9", 230 pounds, 20 to 30 pounds, likely Hispanic. That is all we know so far. Could be local to California. Could be local to Maryland. May have committed crimes in other states. Investigators from Maryland have gone to California and are sharing information between those jurisdictions. There's a $10,000 reward now that they released um, in, on Thursday of last week. The sheriff says we're one tip away from catching him. One tip away. Could be you. I'm joined now exclusively by Rachel Marin's sister, Rebecca Marin, and the family's attorney, Randolph Rice. Rebecca, thank you so much for being with us tonight. First and foremost, I am so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry for what you and your family have had to go through. Have the police shared anything with you? Have they told you anything that sounds promising? Uh, nothing more than what everybody else already knows. We're just waiting for that one person to come forward and say they recognize him. But um, so far, nobody has done that that I know of. And is this extraordinarily frustrating? Do you feel you're getting everything you need from the investigators? Uh, that I can't really answer um, because, you know, like I said, I mean, there's only so much they can do. Somebody needs to come forward. Somebody has to say something. Um, sorry. Um, I understand. Well, we'll show the pictures again. Um, that's the man that they're looking for. If you're watching right now, take a very close look at everything about him, the way he walks. Sometimes it's the way a suspect walks that is the tip that comes in, not necessarily the description of the person, but the way they walk. And hopefully, Rebecca, that will be something that someone recognizes. How are Rachel's kids doing? She's a mother of five. How are the kids? as can be expected um sad angry don't really understand um they really love their mother uh you know they pray for her to come back so it's been really hard on all of them what have you been able to share with them what have you told them they know that she's gone we haven't given them any details, um, except for the older ones. Um, we plan on keeping like that for a little while till they're old enough to understand. And hopefully it won't be too much longer before they have the person that did this. That is our, that is what we want the most because, you know, like, like the sheriff said, this guy is going to do it again. It could be, you know, your sister, your mother, your daughter. And that's what people don't get. I don't understand why no one's come forward. To me, it's obvious that somebody recognizes this guy. They have to. It's like I could see him move and know, you know, if this was somebody I knew, I would know who it was. So I'm really hoping that somebody comes forward soon. Somebody is brave enough to do that, to do what's right. We'll continue to show the pictures that the um, sheriffs released of him leaving the scene of that home invasion where a young girl was assaulted. And as we show the pictures, just remember, just look at every part of it, every detail, the, the small of his back, the curve of his shoulders, the, the slouch that he has, that haircut from August 17th. Again, that's, that's a haircut from a couple of weeks ago. That could have grown in by now. Uh, the tightness of his jeans, that's a style that some people wear and a lot of other people don't wear. Uh, everything about that, holding the clothing that he's walking out of the house. Um, 
Rebecca, who's looking after Rachel's kids? Uh, they are with their fathers. So they're well looked after at this time and you're able to, to see them and they're able to get the counseling they need? Yes. Randolph, can I ask you about the evidence? As a lawyer, um, you understand how difficult it is for police, A, to process evidence, then B, to share it publicly before you have an actual trial in, trial in process, right? You don't want right. to jeopardize any kind of possible um, criminal procedure down the line if they can catch this person. That's but at right. The same, but at the same time, I'm curious about genealogy. If you have DNA, there is a remarkable way to trace people who aren't in CODIS, people who haven't maybe committed crimes that are on the record before. Maybe they've committed them, they just haven't been caught and processed before. Right. But there's genealogy, it's how we caught the Golden State Killer. It's how so many killers are caught these days. Do you know if that's the avenue that authorities are using? Well, first of all, let me just thank you for having both of us on. Um, this is really important because the more that this story is out there, uh, the more people see that video that hopefully somebody sees uh, and recognizes this individual. And going to the evidence, yes, this is something that I'm sure the state police and the FBI, they're going to use that DNA evidence. They're going to check it with other databases. You know, we've had conversations about that 23andMe or maybe using an Ancestry.com type of thing where they go and try to find maybe a relative uh, that has some sort of associated DNA. And hopefully that gives the investigators a link that will lead them to this individual. Yeah, and even the companies uh, that don't um, subscribe to the police being able to access all their databases, they do give their customers the option to check a box to say, do you want to be part of a pool um, that can search, you know, for, uh, you know, search for potential criminality? And there are other bodies of information available as well. It's how they can do it. It's how they can do this regularly now using genealogy. Um, and Rebecca, I hope that that is something that they end up using because it's remarkable how extensive it, it can be all over the world so it really can help catch people i do want to ask you about your gofundme because i know that you've been raising money to help these five kids i mean five kids without a mom tell me about the gofundme um well unfortunately i do have experience setting one up <laughs> and i hadn't even thought of it the day I set it up. I had other family members come to me and suggest I get one going uh, before someone else took advantage of the situation and ripped people off. I was quite surprised by how many people donated. And, you know, it wasn't just that. There have been other donations to help with things along the way. So I can honestly say the majority of that money that was raised on the GoFundMe is going to the kids. Well, and we'll also um, just make mention, we, we just showed the picture right there. So if anybody's searching for the GoFundMe, this is the legitimate one. It's called the Rachel Morin Funeral and Memorial Fund. Um, I know what you're saying. There are some pretty bad actors out there who take advantage of situations like this, but that's the legitimate one that um, Rebecca's family has set up. And uh, to the both of you, I'm just going to put up on our screen, anybody who's watching right now, if you think you recognize that man, if you know anything, if you have any tip, and just like they say in the movies, no tip is too small, send your tips to the Harford County Sheriff's Office. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.